Come with us now on a journey through time and space to the world of the magical. Alright. That's a good guy. Oh, one of the best we've ever done, I reckon. Genius! Should have seen this guy. Throwing shapes at front and centre. Never seen a sequel. Howard was on fire. He was improvising like a mother bitch. The crowd was going wild, Nabu. At one point, I got out of the soon. I've never even played one before. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? It's probably just some kids mucking about. Yep. There's one of your flies attached. There's one or two people at the who didn't quite get into the spirit of things, wasn't they? There's 500 people out there. Is there? You better get out of here. Okay, well, we'll see you in a couple of days. <laughs> Better make it a week. That was the worst gig in the history of music. It wasn't that bad. It just weren't ready for us, Vince. You think we'll ever be allowed back into the city? Of course we will. We're pioneers. Hmm? Give them a bit of time to catch up with what we're about, then they'll welcome us back. Have you seen this review? Vince, we do not need the words of reviewers to tell us what we're about. Well, that's lucky, because there's no words in this one. It's just a picture of some sick with our names underneath it. They weren't ready for what we were trying to do, Vince. Let's just leave it there. Let's move on. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. What exactly were you trying to do? I was on fire, Vince. That's all you need to know. On fire? Mm -hmm. You were leaping around with a bassoon sellotape to your head? Yes, sir. That's the way I move. When the hoodoo trance takes me, that's the way I go. The hoodoo trance? Yeah, I was out there. You look like a jazz Dalek. I didn't know what I was doing, but it felt good. Well, I don't know what it was either, but I saw the crowd. It was freaking people out. A little too sexual, perhaps. A little too sensual. I've heard that before, that <laughs> my moves can be a bit too ripe for some. Too ripe? It's like a supply teacher at a drum and bass convention. What? I don't know how to tell you this, Hal, but you're a bit white. Who are you? Wesley Snipes. Squire, what do you want? Uh, I have a flirtini, please. What? It's a kind of champagne cocktail with pineapple in it and a little twist of lime. You London types. Coming up here with your balls all shiny. Think you own the place? Well, you don't own this place. Jeff does. There'll be no flirtinis here. You'll drink what Jeff drinks, a simple, honest fisherman's drink. Great, well, I'll have a couple of those then, thanks. Two maggot ciders! Um, I'm a little bit peckish. Have you got any olives? No. Hummus? No. Stuffed vine leaves? No. Do you have any crudités at all? You'll eat what Jeff eats. A simple curry with a couple of naan bread on the side. Garlic naan? Aye. Great. Well, we'll be over here. Two maggot booners! <sighs> it's a bit weird in here. Not weird. Just different. You know, you'll get used to it. You'll lose your city eyes and adapt. This place could be good for us, you know? Get out of town, recharge our batteries, have some new ideas, maybe even write a couple of new songs, eh? Pardon me, I couldn't help overhearing. You two creative types. We're in a band. Who are you? I'm Ramsey. Ramsey, how about I love your hair. What's that about? It's your basic backhand structure. Slightly root boosted, framing a cheeky fringe. Nice. Two booners with garlic naan. Colin. Ramsey. What do you do? I'm a local artist. I put shells on things, you know, like cups and telephone books and shoes. Cool. There's not too much money in it, though. Really? So what are you two doing out here? Well, we hit a bit of a creative block there back in London, so we thought we'd take a break from the music scene and just head out here, chill out, you know, kick back. Whenever I hit a creative drought, I go fishing out on Black Lake. Yeah? Yeah, with the wind in your hair and the water flowing, it's perfect for inspiration. That sounds great. We could do that tomorrow. Uh, let me let you in on a little secret. Gather round. Not you, non -breads. The best time to go out on Black Lake is right now, when the moon is full. You and your lady friend can have a special time together. I'll even give you a discount. 40 euro. It's a deal. The boat's tied outside on a jetty. Listen, I gotta go. The wife's here. Ramsey! I'm coming, Matilda! Goodbye. Ah, uh, this is more like it. 
think that Ramsey guy was right, you know, I'm feeling myself unwind out here. I'm feeling my battery start to recharge. Yeah. I love fishing. Don't get your expectations up, Lovins. I mean, it took me three months of solid fishing before I even caught my first fish, so... You know, it's all about relaxing and letting go. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? It's about patience, you know, and getting into that zen state wherein the catching of a fish is unimportant. <laughs> Are you sure you've never been fishing before? No, it's great. It's really easy. What were you using as bait? Well, I was using these signed press shots, but, you know, I've given up on bait now. It's ridiculous. They're just throwing themselves at me. Watch this. <laughs> Come on. And you. I think you don't understand about fishing, Vince, right? Because it's not actually about catching fish. I think it is. That's a common mistake. It's about everything else except that. It's about the ebb and flow of life, the dancing wheel of chance. It's not fishing, that's just thinking about stuff. Yeah, well, anyone can catch a fish, Vince. Apart from you. Well, it's early days yet, yeah? We'll see. He's so bright and milky white Shining down upon the ground He's so bright, milky white Shining down upon the ground Everybody look at the moon Everybody see in the moon The moon is white, it's milky white Everybody look at the moon Oh! Yeah, I did a song Jupiter, I did a song You ain't got one yeah. <laughs> Sick. I'm bored. What do you mean you're bored? Haven't you caught anything yet? No, I haven't. I'm not leaving this lake until I catch at least one fish. Have one of mine. Don't want one of yours. You know why you haven't caught anything yet, don't you? Why? You know the old fisherman saying, if you're too white, the fish don't bite. Listen, Morgan Freeman. Why don't you head back to dry land and leave me some fish to catch? Oh yeah, what, am I going to walk on water? Emergency dinghy. Fine, I will. Gone into the future. Is there a foot pump in here? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, Hello, Vince. All right. You catch all them yourself, boy? Yeah. A true fisherman! See, fellas? A toast to the young man! Thirteen he's all round! They improvise all that, you know, Vince. Really? Come sit yourself down, boy. What's your name, boy boy? Vince. Vince, good strong fisherman's name. Vince is Icelandic for hook, you know. Really? Aye. There's your flirting, eh? Oh, cheers, mate. Pipe? Yeah, why not? Beard? I'm fine, thanks. Colin. Him. How do you come by these fish then, boy, sonny Jim, laddie boy? Ah, oh, you know, just dangle my rod over the edge of the boat and just... Stop. No, 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 no. you got to set the scene, spin the yarn. That's what fishing's about. It's not about fishing. We ain't been fishing for years now. Old Neville over there, he'd never been fishing. <laughs> it's about telling the tales. Oh, I get you. All right, watch this. It was a dark night. It was a dark night. Ah, that's more like it, son. The moon was full. The moon. <laughs> I'm feeling rigid. I was out on Black Lake. What did you say, boy? Black Lake. Still, she's a barrel. You should never go out on Black Lake when the moon be full. Why? Because there's something out there. Something evil. Something that goes by the name of Old Greg. Who? Old Greg. Legendary fish. Some say he's half man, half fish. Others say it's more of a 70 30 split. Whatever the percentage, he's one fishy bastard. Some say he's a ghost. Can't catch what don't exist. Hook goes right through him. Some say he's acquired the taste of human meat. Won't respond to conventional bait. Only way to hook him to use a child's toe. Some say Old Greg is like a, a, a big fish finger, but big like, um, like a, a garage. As big as a garage. Imagine that fish finger. Uh, when you can see this as big as a garage. Oh, it's in the mouth. It's the big one. Like that. Ah, 
I've got something. I've got something. <laughs> Come to Papa Moon. That's it. Come on. Oh. Oh. Ah. Hi there. Who are you? I'm old Greg. Pleased to meet you. What do you want? Maybe I should ask you the same question. What you doing in my waters? Just taking the air, you know, not fishing. Well, then how come this hook's in my head, fool? It's nothing to do with me, sir. It's attached to your rod, mother lecker. Don't kill me. I've got so much to give. Easy now, fuzzy little man Peach. Hmm? You ever drunk Bailey's from a shoe? What? You wanna come to a club where people we on each other? No. I'm gonna hurt you. Excuse me? I like you. What do you think of me? I don't rightly know, sir. Make an assessment. I think you're a nice, modern gentleman. Don't lie to me, boy. I'm not lying. I know what you're thinking. Here comes old Greg. He's a scaly manfish. You don't know me. You don't know what I got. I got something to show you. You know what that is? That's old Greg's vagina. I got a mangina. I'm old Greg. I each found this washed up on the shore. That's how it's hat. There's no mistake in this. This is the work of old Greg. How do you know? He left his business card. Do you think you'll be all right? Well, I'll let the boys explain that in the form of a song. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. dead. Only one man survived an encounter with old Greg and lived to tell the tale, and that's Mr. Hopkins over there. Well, I'm going to go and ask him about it. You're welcome to try. Excuse me, when you actually met old Greg, what was that like? <laughs> this is useless. I'm going to have to sort this out myself. Got a bad feeling about this. I'll sit here. Hello. Thank you. Hey, the boo, are you? What do you want? <laughs> Nothing. So I'd phone up for a chat. It's been great. We've been fishing. I caught loads, yeah. <laughs> Met some interesting local types. <laughs> oh, it's been a right laugh. So what do you want? Nothing. I just thought I'd phone up. You know, a little catch up. Nothing else? No. All right, I'll see you later then. Uh, up in the boo, there was just one small thing. Here we go. Howard might have been abducted by a sea monster. I don't believe this. You couldn't help us out, could you? All right, look. Stay where you are. I'll be there in about half an hour. Oh, cheers, Nabu. You're a diamond. <sighs> Bye. Get the submarine out of the loft, Brian. <laughs> I'm leave the Christmas tree. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? I'm out, Greg. What? I'm old Greg! Where am I? Greg's place. <laughs> You've been asleep? Do you want a little drinky? I'll get you a drink. Do you like Baileys? Mmm, creamy. It's all creamy beige. <sighs> Delicious. Do you like old Greg's place? I've got all things that are good. You've done some nice things with it. Is that this? This is good. That's nice. You can have it. I'm fine, thanks. I'll keep it here for you. Well, is this the way? Out? Um, how about be? Scooting. Hmm? Got meetings. And a friend of mine's waiting for me, so perhaps I should be... Why are you going? We got everything we need here. We got Baileys, creamy, <laughs> and everything we need. I'll get you another Baileys. I'm fine. Thanks. I do watercolours. Do you? Let me show you something. I call that one Old Greg. Ah, I did it in that one. I call that one Old Greg. And this one. Ah, do you know what I call that one? Old Greg. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I got some more. I got these two. That one's Bailey's. And that one's Bailey's a bit bigger. And that one's as close as you can get to Bailey's without your eyes getting wet. Mm, that is quite a portfolio you've got going on there but I really should be heading off so it's been good we could do some watercolours together you and I well that sounds like great fun let's do it in the week there Greg what do you mean well you're free Thursday at all why can't we do it now well you know I'm a busy man Greg you know I've got things to do Howard Moon man about town <laughs> do you love me oh dear do you love me um gonna have to pretend I didn't hear that Greg do you think you could ever love me uh it doesn't really work like that Greg how does it work? Tell me how it works. Well, you get to know someone, you hang out, you 
see where that goes, this, that, the other, eventually, you know, I don't know you. You know me. Hmm? What about the boat times? That wasn't really a time, was it, Greg? That was more of a just a, an exposure. That was our first date. Hmm? You pulled me up with your strong arms. Oh, dear. Look, Greg, I don't know you. Oh, you know me. You see my downstairs mix-up? Yeah, I didn't ask to see that, did I? What did it mean to you to see that? Did it mean you loved me? No, it didn't. Could you learn to love me? No, I couldn't. I don't love you. You do love me. No, I don't. You do love me. No, I don't. You love me, and you've seen me, and you know me. I'm old Greg. Yeah, I know you are. You've told me 89 times now. You must love me exactly as I love you. Well, I don't love you. And to be honest, you're starting to get on my nerves a bit now. If anything, I find you slightly pathetic. So deal with that. Maybe I will deal with it. Hmm? Maybe I'll deal with it the way I dealt with Curly Jefferson. You know what, Greg? I was being a bit hasty there uh, when I said I didn't love you. Perhaps now in this light with you and the tutu and the water playing off your seaweed, maybe I could love you. Maybe I was lying because when you do love someone, sometimes you say you don't because you're playing hard to get, playing a game. Games? Yeah, I was just playing a game with you. Love games? That's right, love games, Greg. Love games? Do you love me? Are you playing your love games with me? I just want to know what to do because I need your love a lot. Oh, come on now. Do you love me? Are you playing your love games with me? I just want to know what to do because I need your love a lot. Oh, come on now. Won't you back to the race? Mm, back out and roll the pace now. Slow it down and give us a space. Mm, won't you back to the race now? Mm, now. Can you open the window? I can't breathe in here. It's a submarine, you idiot. How are we ever going to find this underwater sea cave? Look, don't worry, Captain Bolo's on the case. Mm. Is he? You getting any readings, Bolo? Yeah. yeah. He's playing Pac Man. Mm. Sort this out. What are you doing, Bolo? Ah, oh, shift over, I'm good at this bit. Get the apple, get the apple, get the apple. Well, this is in the way. Hello, we're mm. supposed to be rescuing Howard. Go back for the cherry. Go back for the cherries. <laughs> Oh, you've got a nice spread, Greg. I did home economics. Really? I got an A+. Plus. I did a crumble. The teacher said mine was the best one. Well, I'm very pleased for you. You don't look happy, Howard. You're picking up on that, are you? I could make you happy, Howard, if only you'd let me. Oh, I'm not another watercolour. You're a musician, yeah? Yes, I am. But you ain't very good, are you? <sighs> I'm one of the best in town. Come on, I read your reviews. Hmm? You know what your problem is? What? You ain't got the funk. You're all rigid, hmm? You're like a breadstick. You got no rhythm. Yeah, well, I've heard all this sort of stuff before, thank you. Well, maybe I could help you. I got the funk. Yeah, I know, you're very funky, Greg. No, no, you don't understand. I mean, I got the funk right here. It's in this box. You see, the funk is a living creature. It's about the size of a medicine ball, but covered in teeth. Came from another planet. It landed on Bootsy Collins' house. Oh? Back then, Bootsy was just a simple farmer. But he took one look at all those mauve titties and he lost his mind. He began to milk the funk. Shit this ball producing some sweet cream. Made himself a funk shake. Raise the Lord. He began to feel fizzy inside. He found he could see round corners. What the? Suddenly, he passed out. But when he came to, maybe he was slapping a bass guitar fast and loose like some kind of delirious funky priest. Oh, yeah. Two months later, he was world famous with his band, Parliament, and everybody wanted a piece of the funk. Rick Wakeman, even the Bee Gees. Oh, give me that funky milk. One day, Parliament were traveling on the mothership, fooling around with the funk. That's it over. When George Clinton kicked the funk clean overboard. Ew. Oh, man. That was July the 2nd, 1979. The day the funk died. Two weeks later, I found the funk in bed with a conger eel. Oh, I've been rumbled. At first, I thought it was a sea anemone, but under closer inspection, I realized it was a funky ball of tits from outer space. I offered to take him back to Parliament, but he said he was done with that shit, and that they never listened to him anyway, and were only interested in his funky produce. So I let him live down here with me in this cave. That was a nice story, Greg. 
What's it going to do with making me happy, exactly? I got a proposition for you. Hmm? We could take the funk, make ourselves some tasty shakes, travel the world, in a band, we'll become famous. We'll be the family funk. What, we can get out on dry land and get out of this place? Yes, sir. Well, let's do it. Let's move. Come on. Okay. Let's do it. Just one condition. What? That you take my sweet hand in marriage. Oh, God. Think about it, Howard. Funky freedom for marriage. You get what you want. Old Greg gets what he wants. Hmm? A strong man to hold me at night when it's raining outside. We can get out of this cave forever. You bet your life. Do you accept? I do. Great. You've made me very happy. Old Greg's gonna pick himself out a nice wedding dress. That's right. Crack open a fresh Bailey's. I'm old Greg. Thank God! Quick, get in! Quick! I bet I didn't get one of these. Yeah, I got a second hand. Nice. What's in that box? This, my friend, is something that's going to put us back on the musical map. Right, full steam ahead. Good gig, eh? Yeah, we're gonna bring the funk back to London. Nothing can stop us now.